Justice League 46, Robert Venditti writing, uh, with both Sir Manico and Robson Roca on the art. Uh, so, a bit of a mix here. Although the art, I mean, obviously I like Roca, uh, Roca quite a bit. Sir Manico is obviously even better. Uh, yep. So the art is, is really good overall. Um, so, that's, that's, that's point number one. Uh, the Justice League are on Themyscira, of course. The the Amazons are a little bit pissed that Diana dared to to yeah. bring all these gentlemen with her. Uh, they're very upset. Eventually, the Spectre's wrath though uh, hits them, and we get and this is essentially what this 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 arc has been for me. And I'm not even really complaining because once the fighting started, these spreads and pages of the fighting with the Amazons and the Justice League mm-hmm. are pretty gorgeous for the most part so mostly mm-hmm. the Manico stuff in the fights i believe yeah yep uh i was like you know what i'm enjoying i'm enjoying this it's it's, it's, it's complete and utter fluff in terms of a story because it's just lots of fighting but it's very pretty fighting and this, i'm kind of enjoying it this issue is so frustrating for me because i get into it and every time i'm just into it like the fight is it's great mm-hmm. i'm like oh this is some good stuff like it's like Diana uh, calling, oh, this is what the Amazons are going to do. This is their plan. Yeah, that was, so, that was fun. And, and yeah. Directing the team. Great stuff. And every time I'm just into it, I turn the page and I get to the next panel and I just read, the Spectre is right. And I'm like, oh, for God's yeah. sake, not this shit again. Uh, I mean, because yeah. that, that full page spread of uh, her shouting Justice League Advance with them all kind of, you know, that really good stuff. Because that, that's right at the end of her calling all the Amazon moves. Because like, she's like, oh, they're going to fire spears here. So, you know, Flash, take care of them. Batman, they're about to do this. So you take care of that. Uh, you know, it's it's re- it's really smart that she knows all their tactics, so she's kind of like directing everyone. Uh, that's really good. Uh, once they realize that you know they're never really going to be able, to, they get away, but they realize wait, if we leave them on their own, they're just going to start killing each other because that's what this this does. So John stays behind and makes a Green Lantern core with his ring to to sort of try and keep them all apart and stop them from killing each other. This uh, was just to give the artist an excuse to draw some of his favourite lanterns. Yeah, I will say, notable exception here of uh, Jess and Baz in this roster. Yeah, well, they weren't in his Hal and Pal runs that often, so... Yeah, this is a lot of his Hal and Pals line. I mean, like, Space, Space Apes there. right there. Yeah, like... Um, there is a last of Jessica Cruz, uh, and I, Andy. I find that quite frankly insulting. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, the rest of the league go to where this gate is to this uh, this land and uh, Tartarus. Tart- Tartarus, yes. Uh, and Wonder Woman ends up getting angry and lifting the boulder, and everyone else is trying. I, I, I do, I do question here why Batman's also shoving this boulder along with Superman and Aquaman. I'm like Batman, like your strength Team is. Spirit. He's helping. Oh, Matty, mate. Yeah, he's... Like, ba- Batman's strength here, in comparison to those, is so minuscule that he's, he's but... having no effect. <laughs> say, uh, he's helping. Like a, like a younger sibling that wants to help. And you're just like, all right, let them pretend they're helping. You know? Yeah, but Wonder was like, no, good, F this boulder. And she throws it away. Yeah. Uh... Uh, the, here, my Justice League, to the, the best glory holes in all the land. Do you know what? I just, I cracked that joke, and as, as, as I say it, I realize that when this is cut up on YouTube and in the individual parts, there will be no context for that joke whatsoever. No, that's okay, though. Uh, they went right into the glory hole. Go, go, listen to the, the, the full, or watch the full version, or listen to the full version. The intro had a lot of glory hole talk for reasons. I won't get into it. Just, there was, there was set up for it, though. There was set up. <laughs> so much glory holes this week. <laughs> so many uh fully endorsed by uh, the state of new york uh so <laughs> um yeah so they find uh a cargan and uh they they the you know it's like hey we have to you know, put the specter back in his bottle all the rest of it uh but the big twist twist here is that uh tartarus the, the as he calls himself the the, the original god uh, the yeah, first god and that, that checks out with mythology as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tartarus was one of you know was the first. That's why he was made the prison weirdly. Yeah. Um, so he he wants to get out, and you know now that the doors open because they just have come wandering in. Uh, he can get out. I mean, there's not much of a reason why he couldn't get out when Corrigan first came himself, but you know maybe they'll address that uh, because they they resealed it after Corrigan. Mm-hmm. Like they threw Corrigan in and put the boulder back in front. The boulder and now is it's open. Sure. Yeah. Whereas Wonder Woman just. <laughs> Lobbed it. Threw it aside and yeah, didn't really. Didn't she she yeeted it into the stratosphere. Uh, yeah. So, no, I mean, I'm having fun it's, it's, in terms of the rompiness of it because the art's so fun and good and big and all these big splash pages and action sequences. That part I'm enjoying. You know, it's, it's kind of a, a nothing story ultimately, but 
I'm enjoying reading that. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next issue because there shouldn't be any more The Spectre is Right. Because mm-hmm. every time I saw that, and it, it, would, it would go like three, four pages and then just bring it back up again. I'd be like, oh. It just reminded me of all the stuff I hated of that in the last Yeah, issue. I feel like it's not actually that bad in this issue. It's just because you're remembering it, like, the re- repetition of last issue. Yeah, yeah. It's only like two or three times in this issue, but it's just when I'm like, I'm getting into the beats. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling this now. And then it does that and it completely breaks the momentum for me because it's got this connotations of, of the previous issue. How are you feeling about this one, Matt? No, it's fine. It feels like a middle of an arc, though. Like, it's fine. Um, it just kind of goes through its paces to get through the story. There's no... Outside of the Green Lantern moment, I didn't have a, wow, this is cool. Mm-hmm. Like I had on, on other Venditti stuff. It's, I mean, it's, so, enjo- it's enjoyable schlock is pretty yeah. much what I would sum up as. Yeah, yeah I think um, Wonder Woman directing the team is the highlight of the issue for me. Mm-hmm. Might even be the highlight of the arc so far, to be honest, I think. Mm-hmm. So it was a really fun mechanical... Sort of, you know, baked into the characters, like... Yeah, it's yeah. it's still really fun. And that's, that's I think, my favourite thing with Venditti and yeah. Justice League is that it's still fun. Like, when Sodom Yacht showed up, like, that's cool. That's I, a nice, I, fun little callback. You know, I, I think the story concept was definitely better in the first start with the Daxamites, but I think I'm enjoying this one more because mm-hmm. it's less clunky. It's just mm-hmm. kind of... Yeah. It's very aware that it's not doing anything serious. It's just yeah. kind of having a bit of fun. Yeah, we give it a map. I'm going to give this a 7.5. Connor? Uh, 6.5 from me. Um, enjoyable, but, uh, you know, the flow is, is not quite there for me entirely. I'm going to get rid of the decimal points and just go with a nice solid straight 7. 